classic. And I'm actually going to read one because, oh, come on, Ken, don't bug me. Don't bug me, baby. That used to be a song. I can't remember who did it. This one's a little bit different, but I kind of like the thought behind it. It's called A Sigh or a Shout. The best part of the whole thing is not being sure or knowing how it's all going to turn out. Does it end with a sigh or a shout? The wondering grows stronger every year. Does it, end, does it end with a whimper and a tear? Or does it just keep on giving and bending on a journey and trek that's never ending? Do we simply end to begin again? As kindred spirits wrapped in love and pain, returning again back to each other in new disguises and undercover? Or does a karmic tension dance on a thread as we climb back into each other's bed. Once upon a time it seemed so simple, like a child's smile and laughing dimple, innocent whispers nudging our hearts, oblivious to the fate life imparts. We continue to sojourn, sometimes world-weary, down pathways and trails, uncertain and dreary, hoping to find that lost chain of gold, searching for dreams to have and hold, close to our chest to warm us at night, cleansing our wrongs and wringing them right. And then, one day, on a cold, hard rock, we hear the rattle and hum of death's knock. And run as we may, we can't run away. The hour is here and it's judgment day. So we fall to our knees in a show of trust, beseeching the powers and begging they must forgive us our sins as we didn't know the depth of the scar when we struck the blow. Will it be loud or soft when the end comes? A raging heartbeat? or echo of drums. The best part of the whole thing is not being sure or knowing how it's all going to turn out, not knowing if it ends with a sigh or a shout. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Thank you.